Hi guys, it's me, Sophia. So this video, I'm doing a magnetic nail polish design. Um, it comes out like this. I added a little detail to it, obviously. Um, this design has several special aspects to it. I, just yesterday, for my good grades, got professional tools to do my nails. Um, so from now on, you'll see different brushes coming in. The set I got was a set of 15 MASH brushes. It comes in this little traveling case. Um, ooh, open up. Um, the only tool not in here right now is the DAC tool because that's the one we're using today. It was only $14, including shipping from Amazon.com. Um, I like it a lot, and it will come in handy, I think, for our nail designs, especially today. But all the designs I do, you will be able to use, do without using a nail tool. Um, this one uses the dotter tool, which if you can see, it's this little dot. It's got a little nail polish on it right now. But a little dot at the end um, for making dots, obviously. And the other special tool I used today was magnetic nail polish. I don't know if you guys have heard of this, but it's called Magnetic Force by Color Club. Um, it comes with this magnetic part to it, the magnets right there, the paints here, I'll show you how to do it. Um, without doing any other design, it comes out like this, and you'll see again, you have the magnet. What happens, it's really cool, um, I used Electro Midnight today. Um, the other colors I used were light blue and white and graceful by, these were by Art Club. This is by L'Oreal, or Revlon, my bad. Whoops. 320 graceful. And Sally Hansen Extreme Wear Clear. I used my dot tool, I used the magnetic, and you, for this, you're going to need a stopwatch of some kind. I use my phone. Alright, so here's how it goes. You take your nail, and okay, I'll put my stopwatch so you guys can kind of see it. Um, you paint one coat of your magnetic nail polish, not too thick, otherwise it doesn't come out very well right over your nail, and then I always start my stopwatch first. You take your magnet and you line it up, don't let it hit your nail, and you hold it here for any seconds, so we're going to hold it here till that it says 28. I know it takes a while, but the lid actually, I don't know if you can see it with my finger, ooh, I just touched my nail, joy, um, I'll fix it in a second, shows the design that you do, 28 seconds, see, design comes out, and I got nail polish on the magnet. Um, I am just going to patch it up a little bit, I won't redo the magnet, because I really don't need to with the little bit of patch up I need, but that's the design that comes out, I think it's really cool. It's sometimes hard to see um, from far away, which is why, did I even stop this? No. Okay. Which is why, alright, so we're done with this. Um, if you ever get nail polish on it, like I just did, it doesn't really mess up your design, but you just want to clean it off with a little nail polish remover, and then dry it down like so. Alright, then what I did was I took my white, still thin brush. Sometimes I use the brushes from the kit for this. This color I happen to have the thin brush so I don't need to. Of course I get a text. Um, so you, this design came out really, this nail, so I wanted to follow the line thinly. I go below the funky design. I'll show you again on my other finger of the, what actually came up with the magnet. Um, the other one's going to come out better because you can see it better. 
So you see that design? I just follow right below it. Kind of going into it a little bit doesn't really matter if I'm a little bit low, a little bit high with my thin brush. Wait. Then what you do is you take your thin brush blue, light blue, and I just follow right on top of that line the design. Like the top. Oh, I just got nail polish on my computer. Um, I'm using this cotton ball all the time now. Um, you just follow right on top of it. I'll show you again on my thumb because my thumb came out really nicely. Um, just follow on top of it. But you already got the lines can intersect a little bit, cross over. It's freehand, whatever you want to do works perfectly. Now you can leave it like that, but since I just got my brushes, I couldn't leave it like that. So I took my Revlon now, and I made, I put some on here so I could use it, and I take my data and I stick it in there. Got a little clump on it. And then, I'll show you on this one. You just slowly dot below the white. I think it looks like above for you guys, but from my perspective, it's below. The white or above the blue, right in between, and you get some cool dots. Um, you just kind of straggle it along in there. There's some dried nail polish on the cup. That's why it's giving me an issue. Um, I'll show you again on this now. You just... Now the dotting tool, by its name, you can probably guess, can make big dots. It can make medium-sized dots. And it can make tiny dots those aren't really tiny but this is a good example of tiny dots um and that's the nail design for this week i hope you liked it and i hope you keep watching and i will see you guys next week bye